Welcome to the Innovation Interview Series. My name is Chris Rundy. I'm the Director of the Airport Innovation Accelerator. And today we're in the studio with Brendan McCord, Director of Mosaic at Evolve Technologies. Welcome, Brendan. Hi, Chris. Thank you for joining us. So today we're going to learn a little bit about artificial intelligence, crowdsourcing, video management, and the like, um, and how it applies to airports. But before we do that, can you give us a little background on yourself and how this whole concept came into being? Sure, sure. So I grew up admiring people who, who brought the force of technology to bear in the service of a, of a meaningful mission. Um, that's the reason I'm building Mosaic, and that's the reason I joined my startup Evolve Technology. So my grandfather was my closest personal example of this. And he was a, uh, he was a great engineer and, and somebody who se always seemed to find ways to accomplish the impossible throughout his career. Uh, the best example of this is that he flew in the 1960s from the bottom tip of Africa over the widest part of the South Pole. Mm. And to do this, he, he had to um, push the limits of aviation technology. A lot of people said it couldn't be done. Today he's in the Air and Space Museum and I looked up to him a lot for it. Um, the mission was exploration, diplomacy in the South Pole, and, um, and he used technology to do it. He also had to dodge penguins on the runway going down to, to the South Pole. So I, I hope that nobody listening today has to deal with that specific <laughs> problem. Um, but that motivated me a lot. So my technology drive led me in my personal life to MIT and to doing nuclear physics at Sandia National Lab. The mission drive led me to join the Navy where I served as a submarine officer and did pretty much the exact opposite of what my grandfather had done, which was go underneath the ice at the North Pole. Um, and that's why I joined Evolve. The team, the core team that we have at Evolve, has spent 20 plus years in physical security. Mm -hmm. um, the group is led by CEO Mike Ellenbogen, who founded Reveal. And the mission of Reveal was find explosives and check baggage. The technology is deployed today in, in hundreds of airports. So, you know, we're taking on an even bigger mission than that today in this, in this next um, venture. We have Bill Gates on our team as a visionary technologist and lead investor. So. I jumped at the opportunity to bring what I know, bring my tech perspective um, as an outsider of sorts to this, to this realm, combine it with what they knew, and out, um, out came Mosaic. Wow. That's fascinating. Well, you learn something new every day. I didn't know that your grandfather is, uh, is a pioneer in aviation, of all things. <laughs> so you're following his footsteps. So can you tell us a little bit about Mosaic and, and how it works? Sure, sure. So, Mosaic is, um, as you mentioned, it's an advanced artificial intelligence system that helps people manage matters relating to security operations and concessions. It uses the existing technology infrastructure around you, mm -hmm. um, starts with the CCTV system. So airports have bought um, large CCTV systems and are upgrading large CCTV systems. It uses that existing technology and it works in real time. It, started, the idea for it, the impetus, was started for an with an appreciation for the, the pain point. Mm -hmm. I mentioned Evolve's been doing it for 20 years in physical security, the core team. Well, the, the complaint, the you know, insight that they've gotten for 20 years is that um, you know, people are not able to get um, value in real time out of their CCTV system to help them solve important problems. They have the CCTV, it's generating rich data. They're underserved by the software incumbents that are there today. And it's, it's frankly hard to use video to even do garden variety tasks. Like here's a, here's a sterile area, here's an unsterile area, and I wanna keep people out of that. It's hard to do that today. Mm -hmm. What we found with Mosaic is that the same Mosaic pipeline, what we call the AI plus IQ pipeline, can be used to solve those problems with very few false and nuisance alarms and it can also do a lot more. So examples of the first things that Mosaic can do for airports are things like spotting intruders in sensitive areas, keeping a perimeter safe, helping them manage lines, manage crowds and lines. Um, three kind of high points, three key characteristics of the Mosaic system. One is it gives you meaningful responses without the noise. Mosaic is attacking the problem of um, using these video streams in a fundamentally new way from what is done today, which is video analytics. And one um, positive outcome of that is that it gets rid of this terrible noise that's operationally mm -hmm. burdensome. 
Another is that um, using it feels like you're giving an instruction to a member of your team, to some trusted staff. So unlike you know, it feeling like a machine um, giving you a readout and, and popping out you know, information to a menu, it's like giving an order to your, to your best trusted staff member and getting a result back um, as though they were, they were person. So we prioritize simplicity and ease of use. And the last thing is it works real time 24 seven. That's our focus, that's what Mosaic will do well. Um, forensically, taking video that you've already recorded and then figuring out what happened in these events and, and so forth, that's really not what Mosaic is, is built for. There are other technologies that can do that. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's how I would describe it. Um, do you remember, I don't know if you've ever seen Iron Man, actually. I have, um, yeah. So in, in Iron Man, uh, there's this thing, Jarvis, Jarvis which yeah. is an AI system that Tony Stark built. It's kind of like a robot system that you can give, uh, give commands to, and it can use the technology around him to solve those problems. So a couple of people who've seen Mosaic in action in its first deployments have said that it's kind of like Jarvis-esque in the, in the way that you, that you deal Interact, with it. Interact, yeah. Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's, that's what we're doing with Mosaic. Wow, that's fascinating. So it's really tackling the problem of, of hundreds of cameras that airports can have at their disposal, but making them actually valuable. Um, the reality being, you only have so many staff that can monitor these uh, at any given time. Yeah. Um, and then you're leveraging the tools uh, of, of artificial intelligence, and I think you mentioned IQ yes. as a term. And is that really in your mind sort of a, a crowdsourcing or some sort of human element that mm. augments it? Yes, so diving into the technical approach, how we're doing it behind the scenes, what the process is, I think the easiest way to explain it is actually to talk about Google Maps, um, mm -hmm. believe it or not. So Mosaic's approach to AI is inspired by the AI approach behind Google Maps. Um, mm. Everybody's familiar with Google Maps, I think. Um, mm. That's how I got here today. And um, maybe they're not as familiar with how it works behind the scenes. So Google wanted to get you from A to B, and they want to do it anytime, anywhere, via the proper route. Mm -hmm. In order to do that, they needed very accurate maps. Um, we forget, but maps haven't always been this way. Before Google Maps, you, you could not do what you do today with the navigation of maps. Um, and the way they approached the problem is they gathered a ton of imagery from satellites, from the street level, you know, Google Street View imagery, and they first had machine intelligence, they had software that went through that huge set of imagery mm -hmm. um, and looked for roads and intersections and things that machines were good at finding. When I say huge set of imagery, it's um, petabytes and petabytes of imagery. It's the equivalent of over a million CCTV cameras worth, and it updates frequently for them. So huge challenge. Start with machines, go through that and find those things. Then use human intelligence, the IQ piece, mm -hmm. to do um, to find things like one-way roads or to map out the tricky intersections or find construction areas, things that are really difficult for machines to do. And so the, the, real, the innovation that Google did that un unlocked the ability to do Google Maps was understand what should go to machines mm -hmm. and what should go to humans and automate it at scale. The scale part is, is key because you know, I've talked to folks who have um, you know, hundreds of cameras in their CCTV system. That's scale. Um, and Google would not do work, you know, they have the equivalent of a million CCTV cameras. They wouldn't do it this way if it weren't scalable. So it's this beautiful um, division of labor between them. When we say IQ in the context of Mosaic, we, mm -hmm. you know, we talk about AI being augmented and trained by IQ. What we mean is a network of human agents who are um, credentialed agents that are, um, for example, former law enforcement professionals. And that network, they're not at the, at the local airport site, um, but they, are, they serve in our system to, just like they did in Google's case, to um, back up the AI and to do the things that are really difficult for, video, for, um, for AI to do today. The final clever thing that, that Google Maps did that I think is illustrative here is that um, every time they asked for human judgment, every time they asked the human to weigh in, the AI, the machine piece, observed and learned from the human so that it started finding those tricky intersections and those one-way roads and those construction areas. And that's key to scale. That, that's how the, the scale piece worked. So, you know, we believe machines cannot do it alone. Video analytics have 
um, been saying for 20 years that you know this they've been trying to solve this problem of getting information, getting valuable uh, decision-worthy information in real time. And if you do it with machines alone, even in the in age of great AI, um, it, it doesn't work. work. And so the AI and IQ pipeline unlocks that potential and we're excited to get it out there and get deployed. Well, that is fascinating. Um, so it's really sort of the emergence of AI as a credible uh, tool that has allowed you to get to this point. Um, you know, what do you see in the near future? Where do you see this going? Yeah, I mean, you mentioned it's the emergence of AI. I think I think there are a couple of um, tech drivers that that do unlock this. There is very capable AI that did simply didn't exist a couple of years ago. There's it's aided by very powerful low cost computing resources, mm -hmm. by ubiquitous connectivity, or what we're coming to. Um, have as ubiquitous connectivity and the ability to train AI very cheaply. And so the future appears to be built around those ingredients and the convergence of, of those things is, is definitely powerful. Um, I think we absolutely need to bring those advancements to this sector. Um, from a user's perspective, I'll go back to industry's been banging its head against the wall for 20 years trying to get a capability that's smart enough to help them manage their large video systems, manage the systems they've already paid for and that are generating rich data, um, and they've mostly been disappointed in the last 20 years. So I think this um, serendipitous combination creates an opportunity to bring the best of breed technologies to bear on solving what I think is a universal challenge. Um, so, you know, one other point about where we go from here, I think, you know, on the mission side, because I talked about technology and mission being the drivers for me, with Brussels and Metrojet, I think they show with a painful clarity that, that um, gaps and vulnerabilities are being exploited and that it is shifting, the landscape is shifting in a meaningful way. I follow this pretty closely and I, I worry that strategies maybe have not evolved um, enough to do this and that um, we can do better. So I think about closing gaps and connecting dots as being in the physical world as being a very important thing for Evolve. Um, practically speaking on a, in terms of Mosaic, we're, we are deployed now in our first pilots at a TSA certified cargo shipping facility. And we're um, launching our beta, our private beta in May. So we're working with AAAE and, and Market Match. Mm -hmm. very excited to be a part of it. Building an ecosystem of world-class um, partners and customers. And so we'd love to, um, you know, if anyone's listening and, and this resonates, please get in touch. We'd love to work on uh, deploying Mosaic on your site. And um, delivering a, a, what is, I think, a powerful and practical step towards increasing real-time security and operations. Absolutely. Well, it's very needed. And Brendan, we thank you so much for being in the studio and sharing this. Um, as Brendan mentioned, we are uh, going to be launching more information through Market Match. Um, so we encourage you to join us. Um, and we invite you to join us again for the next session of the Innovation Interview Series.